OK, moving along now. Mark is in the kitchen. And Mark, knock, knock. Who's there? Knocky. And that's what you're making today, <laughs> isn't it? That's all that's I can it. think of. Yeah, sorry. Dad called, he wants his jokes back. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> uh, we're making knocky today anyway. So um, you can go to the supermarket, you can buy it. So this is a really fast recipe. But it's great fun to make your own knocky. And it's easy as well. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it a little bit later on. Just need a little bit of time. So you've got to get your potatoes. You want to prick them with a fork and then pop them in a hot oven, about 220 degrees, on a tray of rock salt. And that's going to season the potatoes cook them and they'll be nice and fluffy and they won't have lots of liquid in if you boil them. So that's the way to do it. So you need to do that about an hour and a half, two hours depending on the size of the potato beforehand and then it's really, really easy and I'm going to show you the next stages a little bit later. Lee, great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. Great to have you in the cafe kitchen as well. <laughs> You're moonlighting behind the coffee machine before. Okay, we're making gnocchi today, so what do we need to get going? Right, so as we talked about before, the potatoes. So yes. these have been in the oven, really hot oven for about an hour, hour and a half mm. depending on size. But you can see you know it's nice and hard it's fluffy in the middle so i've cooked those uh cut them open so you yes. can see it's really hot so just be careful at this stage smells so good i just want to eat them <laughs> but then the, another good thing about you know roasting them in the oven and over the salt you're going to season it through the salt it does look yeah. a bit excessive but you know it's not going to be that salty but it will season the potato and it's really dry so that'll help you with the gnocchi but then you get like a nice little flavor from the um you know the outside yeah. of it. it's almost like a baked potato beautiful so, so what we're going to do is scoop yes. those out into a sieve and then we're going to push it through so you just sort of like okay. um, like rice in the potato so you can do it through a sieve or you can do it through a, a potato ricer okay great oh they're going to be hot aren't they yeah, it's hot. It's all right. I'll handle it, Chef. Don't you worry. <laughs> so, it's, so it's really, well, it is really hot. So in the mix, we need to put some flour, some egg yolks, and a bit of Parmesan cheese. Season it up lightly, you know, a little bit of pepper. Um, just go easy on the salt because we have seasoned the potatoes already. Um, yeah, and then you can put any flavours you want in there. You know, you can put herbs through there. You can put, um, you know, vegetable powders through there. You know, sky is, skies are the limits, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, <laughs> what are you going to do with the skins? Should we just throw them out? Well, I can right, fill them up with a poached egg in the morning and have them for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yum. Right, okay, so cool. you push that through. Okay, cool. Because I can't really do much without that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hear you. All right, so as Mike's doing that, mm -hmm. um, we're going to get a bit of the vegetable garnish ready. So a little bit of courgette. So really simple dish. So we've got courgette, we've got spring onions, a little bit of chilli, some rocket, which is just going to go in at the last minute, and we're going to make this nice, beautiful, sort of creamy mascarpone um, sauce there. Okay, good. Yeah, this is going good. It's pretty yeah. easy, isn't it? Yeah, no, no. So, it, yeah. so it's really, it's really easy. So I'll speed it up then. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. What you need me to do is pretty it? much. But then, you know, just as something different for the courgette, I'm just going to get a peeler, so get a speed yep. peeler, and then I'm just going to sort of peel nice little strips. So you get these really little thin strips, and that's just going to cook really fast, and it's just going to go around the knocky, nice and easy to eat. So I keep doing that. I mucked up my knock knock joke before. I'm not going to attempt to do it again. I thought, did you not have another joke? No, I know. Because <laughs> what I was supposed to say was <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Knock. Knock who? No, knock he. <laughs> it, still, it, still, it still doesn't work, yeah. does it? Yeah, it's still not any better. <laughs> anyway, so. Right, so we've got. Um... Oh, no, that didn't work. Right. Oh, right, so doing? we just need an egg yolk. Oh, yeah. Oh, this looks. Uh... Why are you hiding think, under the table doing no, that? I'm putting the yolk in the bit. Oh, right. Uh, the, the white in the bit. Right, so egg yolk goes in. Yes. So just give that a little mix around. A little bit of pepper. Oh, this stage. made knocky before. This is great. Yeah, I think there's a sort of misconception that, you know, it's quite... Um, difficult. You can, yeah. Yeah, it's quite difficult, but it's, it's like really, really easy. So it's just about, um, you know, just get your recipe and then just sort of mix it up. And it's all about the texture after. Yum. So you don't want to overwork it. Yes. But you want to bring it in and you want to make a form like a nice dough. You know, you can okay. do it in a bowl or you can just get it straight onto the surface, right? So keep mixing it up. Yeah. This is so good. You can go to the cafe.co.nz. Make your own gnocchi for once rather than buying it. Yeah, that's it. Right, so we'll get it on there. Right. So well, okay, we're getting technical so keep, now. Yeah, so keep sort of bringing it in. You can see it's starting to form a dough now. So this is, this is quite good. You know, if, it, if it's sort of, you know, that's sort of quite good. I'm not going to put the rest of that flour in at the moment. Right. I'm just going to sort of get it together and see where we are. If it's a little bit sicky, I'll just put the rest of that flour in. Okay, so you're looking for a good consistency. Yeah, you want sort of, it's sort of nice and smooth. Yeah. But then you're not, you're not overworking it. You know, it's still quite warm. And the important thing is, do it whilst it's warm. Okay. Okay. So I think that's quite good. So if you look at it, you know, you've got this sort of like little spring in it. And then what we're going to do is just like on a nice sort of. You can do it if it's a little bit wet, nicely floured surface. Mm -hmm. Just sort of roll it out. I'm going to get it into a nice sort of uh, sausage shape. Okay, good. 
nice and even. Yeah. And then what we'll do, you know, just got nice little pillow shapes. Oh, yeah, cool. There's a pillow shape. Yep. And then some boiling salted water. Pop it yes. in. Okay, just turn it down a little bit. When the gnocchi sort of is cooked, it'll come to the surface. You scoop it out, pop it on like a lightly oiled plate and just let it dry. Pop it in the fridge, let it dry and it'll get like a little skin. And then we can pan fry it and get a nice beautiful colour on it. That was a lot easier than I thought. Brilliant, okay, cool. <laughs> we need to finish up the gnocchi and it's looking good. We've got the sauce to go. So that's ready, you reckon? Yep, so it's come to the surface. Uh, just take it out, put it on a plate, a little bit of uh, oil on there so it just doesn't stick. And okay. then you can chuck it in the fridge now, cool it down. Nice. Uh, we're going to go straight away now. So get, get a pan, yep. a bit of oil in there, get it hot, and then we're going to colour the gnocchi. So you can eat the gnocchi just like this, you know, okay. you can boil it fresh, put it straight in if you wanted, if you want, you know, it's nice and soft. Well, it's really like nice like that as well. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like pan fried. Yeah, yeah, just like dumplings, but like if you pan fry them, it's really nice, you know, you get a nice colour on there, Great. get a different texture. Nice work. So I pop a few of those in there. Mm -hmm. Right, so your job is to get a nice colour on these. OK. <laughs> You're going to trust me, are you? OK, cool. <laughs> I never let you down, Mark. I never let them down. OK. So, so it won't take long as well, you know, right. two, three minutes. Um, but you're just going to make sure, if you do them quite thick like this, you want to make sure that they're nice and warm in the centre. But we're going to build a sauce around it and have okay. all the courgettes as well. So I've got a little bit of chilli as well. So mm -hmm. as it's cooking, we'll cook some chilli in there. Nice. And then I've got a little bit of spring onion, which we'll leave to the end. And we've got these beautiful courgette ribbons. OK. So we'll just, uh, just maybe leave them in one place and we just get a bit of colour <laughs> to start going. <laughs> and I'm always a turner. I'm always like turning, 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 turning. Just need to keep it still so it can actually cook. Go on, do your mascarpone joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. right, courgette. So the courgette strips that can go in. So you're okay. just using the heat just to sort of break that down a little bit. See so there you go, I wanted to stir again. But no, hold off. Yeah, that's that's okay. Right. And then is that colour? Is that colour? Yeah, yeah, so you're starting to get a little, right. little bit of colour in there, so that's yeah. nice. So give it you can give it a little toss now. Right, cool, cool. What, get the whole your, pan or? Yeah, yeah, the whole pan. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. beautiful. There you go, and then we've got a little bit of mascarpone, so that goes in. That's going to melt with the heat. Mm, your mouth sort of sauce. <laughs> it's like a gangster sauce, isn't it? <laughs> I always put on a gangster voice when I talk about it. And a little bit of lemon, mascarpone and lemon, beautiful together. So just a nice. bit of zest goes straight in there. Right, keep tossing that around. Okay, cool. A little bit more parmesan over nice. the top, and just let that melt in as well. <laughs> Spring <laughs> onions go in there. <laughs> And then, that's for me, and later. then a little, little bit of rocket as well. And the rocket, very last minute, you just want to sort of wilt it down. You can put a splash of the um, uh, some hot water in there. You know, yeah. if your cheese is getting a bit too uh, thick. So what do you take reckon? that off the heat? Yeah, a good couple of spoons of uh, okay, cool. uh, water in there. Cool. That's yeah. it. One more. Mm. So keep tossing it around. Make sure that cheese is melted, coated. You've got beautiful colours coming out there. You've got a nice rich glaze over the gnocchi and a little bit of colour on there as well. That is Green. looking fantastic. It smells divine. We're going to taste it very soon. Nice work, Chef. Right now, now to a man who knows how to dab with a spoon. Chef Mark, that looks incredible. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, no, it's really good. It's really good to taste it.